One of my favorite functions in Microsoft Excel is the count if function. I use it all the time and it's very powerful. So let's take a look at what we have here. I'm going to run through text with count if, numbers, and I'll also do some dates. This file is also available for download on my blog post along with all the information I'm about to say about count if. There's the URL up at the top. There's some screenshots, some examples, the video is also here, and there is the file right there you can download that I'm about to use. It'll have all the answers in it. So here we go. I have over in column F of a list of states for our customers. I want to know how many are in Georgia. So before I do this, let's see where this data stops. I'm in F2. So it stops in F36 with North Carolina over here to the right count of Georgia equals the count if function has two arguments it wants to know first what range are you looking in and then the second thing it wants to know is what criteria both arguments are required so I'm going to use the mouse on the first one I'm going to highlight F2 to F36 comma what criteria are you looking for it is not case sensitive but I typed in capital G little a but I did put it in double quotes let's see what the answer is 11 of our customers I'm in cell L3 11 of our customers are in Georgia very similar to what I just did because that was text here's another one column H has advertising sources I want to figure out who found out about us and ordered from us through a Facebook ad. So equals another count if. What's your range? I'm going to go ahead and just type it this time. H2 through H36, comma, what's my criteria? It is Facebook. Once again, put it in quotations. nine people found at us through Facebook. Now another one with text but this time I'm gonna do a wild card and also to help you keep up with this I know I love this formula it is formula text by the way if you're just watching this video and want to see what did he do what did Chris do there are the formulas over here when I'm done how many people found us through Google Ads again I'm looking in column H but let's say someone typed in Google, somebody else typed in Google Ads, someone typed in Google Ad without the S. So that would be equals count if range is still H2 through H36, comma, my criteria. I'm just going to do GOO and then I'm going to do a star which is a wild card search and I'm gonna still do the quotations that is it I'm saying at least find G O O I don't care what comes after it there's 11 people that found us through Google Ads now I want to know how many people how many of our customers are not located somewhere so again, I'm just picking on Georgia. So equals count if. Again, the range this time is F2 through F36. To do a not less than, greater than, GA. There is not Georgia. 24 people are not in Georgia from column F. Okay, now, so we've done text four times. One was a not, the last one I just did. One was a wild card search, right there, the Google Ads, that's cell L5. Now let's do something with numbers. How many people, how many of our customers had a purchase, so this is column uh, I, purchase over 1,000? Equals count if. The range is I2 through I36. 
I'm looking for greater than 1,000. There we go. I got 29. Let's go test that. I'm going to right click in column I. I'm on I3. I'm going to do a sort largest to smallest. I'm going to highlight all the numbers over 1,000 with the mouse. I'm looking down the status bar. Count is 29 in my status bar. So that number is correct. I just wanted to test it. It's correct. So there's something with numbers right there. By the way, just to show you this, if I was looking for greater than or equal to 1,000, I'm going to edit this formula. that would be greater than or equal to 1,000 just to show you that but I'm over the way it is how many people now we're going to do a date one how many of our orders so this is column G it says order date how many of our orders were after the year 2018 if you look over there I see a couple 2000 I see a 2019 there there so let's go figure this one out equals count if the range is G2 through G36 comma what's my criteria I'm looking for count of orders after 2018 so that means starting on January 1 so there's my greater than or equal to January 1 2019 still in quotations Let's see what I end up with. 11. Let's go test that one real quick. I'm going to click over in column G. I'm on G3. I'm going to do a right click. I'm going to do a sort. Uh, let's do oldest to newest. It doesn't matter. I'm looking down at my count in the status bar. It says 11. Go back up here. There is 11. So we're just testing some of this count if functions while we're going through here. And the last one, to be honest with you, I would have used the count blank function. Count blank purchases. Are there anyone that purchased anything that has nothing in here? In real life, I would do this. Count blank, just to show you this. I hope I get zero because I don't think I have any in here. I2 to I36. Zero. Let's delete one. I'm on the 55,885 delete. Count blank is now one. I'm going to undo twice. So I did that with the count blank. If you want to know how to use count blank and count A, look up in the top right corner. You'll see a link to those videos that I did for those. But if you want to use a count if with it, count if, since we're doing count ifs, I2 through I36, and my criteria, just double quotes. I'm looking for a blank. I still hope I get zero right now. Count if I2, helps if I type in the right formula, to I36. There you go. Zero. Let's test it. I'm going to delete. It went to one right here. So there's your count blank using count if instead of the count blank function. Thank you for your time. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Use count if. It is a wonderful function. It's one of my favorite. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.